welcome to the paper snob this is tara today i'm working on 30 days of sketches with christie's beautiful life series number 13. today is day 24 and the designer for our sketch is cassandra tooth who has a youtube channel called crazy craft obsession she does some really amazing work so i'll make sure to drop her channel link down there below for you to click on you guys head over there and leave her some love here is her gorgeous sketch and I will admit to digging through my pattern paper for about an hour trying to find a piece of pattern paper with this design already on it and instead I decided to just wing it and that's a scary word <laughs> wing it <laughs> so what I have for you today is I have a couple of cute kitten pictures this is the little guy that likes to walk across my layouts during my videos. This is Jasper. This is right after we got him. Um, I believe these pictures were taken in July and my husband brought them home to me, I think at the end of May or, or thereabouts. Anyway, I pulled in these Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz stamps because her sketch has some splatters on it. This does not mean that I won't actually use real splatters because I probably will. And the next thing I pulled in was my 49 and Market Nature Study. I really like this collection. It was almost virtually sold out when I discovered I needed it, of course. And I was able to pick up a few bits and pieces from We Create in September because Scrapbook Generation puts in almost a full store. I, I think the on-site store is almost as big as their actual brick and mortar store in Springfield, Missouri. There was a lot of stuff in that store. Anyway, so I picked up a few sheets of, of it while I was there. I believe I already had the butterflies here at home because I was trying to collect some of the papers. And then I found this and I pulled it. I know it's not from this collection, but I'm going to pull my title out of here. Probably this word. And I might even bring in a phrase from in there. So I also don't have very many pieces of this collection either. I think I have like three sheets of pattern paper. And I also picked that up at We Create. Um, you might check out if scrapbookgeneration.com has either in stock on their online store. Make sure that you tell them I sent you if you've never shopped there before. They are a small family-owned business. Anyway, enough of the ad for my favorite store. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. We're going to get started. I'm going to use my Cameo to cut these triangles here. And I will be right back. Now I realize that this background paper is beautiful on its own. 49 and Market does gorgeous background papers, but I always like to add a little bit of something extra. So I am bringing in this Tim Holtz stamp. It looks like splatters and I love this stamp set. I am using, I believe, Faded Jeans, the Distress Oxide. And I am using my stamp stampendous little hockey puck thing to help put even pressure on the stamp. Now, you will notice that I didn't do it on that upper one, and the stamp isn't as clear as the rest of them. I wasn't about to go and fix that, though. So, of course, I've got, you know, only four on there because I'm going to be putting these triangles down here to mimic the way they are on the sketch. I have cut the triangles out with my Cameo and then I distressed them with my Tim Holtz tool. So I'm just going to kind of guess where they're going to go and I'm going to glue them down with some um, quick dry adhesive, which is off camera, but you can kind of see there. You can kind of see what I'm doing. I need to remember to keep my hands on camera. Um, <laughs> sometimes I'm really bad about that. But anyway, I'm just gluing down those triangles and then I'm going to flip the paper upside down and I'm going to do the other side as well. And again, I cut these with my Cameo and I've already distressed them with my Tim Holtz tool. 
So I am only eyeballing the placement of these little, I guess you could call them a, a half a pinwheel. I'm not sure what you would call them, but I'm just eyeballing it. I don't know if they're exactly even and I'm not gonna pull out a ruler to check because in the end I'm pretty happy with the way the background paper looks and how the layout itself looks. I do see that up at the top one of those little pieces is flipped up and I will go back in and I will put some more glue on that later. So I am also gonna go ahead and bring in a stencil here in a minute. So I remembered that I had this Bramble Fox stencil that I got when I was subscribing to their kits earlier this year and I really like this stencil so I thought I'd go ahead and put like the full image in the center. The photos cover up most of it but again it gives a little bit more inking on it and I'm using Distress Oxide shabby shutters because it seems to match the ink or the background pretty well. I did adhere it on with my washi tape that I keep in the little mint tape holder and that makes a nice little bit more of color there in the middle of the layout so like I said the photos will cover some of this so this is the piece that I'm going to use for the matting and the irony in this is that's actually part of the packaging if you are familiar with 49 and market you know that oftentimes on their packaging on the back side they will have elements that you can fussy cut and that was one of the elements on the butterfly packaging that I just cut out to use. And I like that because it meant I didn't have to get out another piece of pattern paper or cardstock to mat that photo. I'm going to use the two little tickets that came from the same packaging to kind of put some color behind the second photo. And the butterflies, I chose the blue and the green ones mostly just to kind of stay in line with my layout. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling out my title and I'm going to end up resting it on the photo right where you see it is where it's going to end up getting glued down. So off camera, I went ahead and I finished gluing everything down and I added my journaling. I scuffed up the little on this day phrase with a nail file. And I kind of tried to scuff up the title a little bit, but I didn't. it didn't really work out that well, so I only got a couple of the edges scuffed. I'm covering up my photos with packaging material, and I'm going to add some white splatters all over the embellishments, the butterfly and the splatters, and just hoping to keep them off my photos a little bit. But I told you I was going to stamp on the layout, but more than likely I would add more splatters because it's just how I roll. I love adding splatters to my finished pages. And so this is my favorite white spray, the Delusions White Linen. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And I'm gonna kind of play around with some jewels. I have some of the Pink Fresh Studios little jewels. They're kind of off to the right in that little organizer and they sit in a little cart next to my recording table. I have chosen the ombre green ones. I don't remember what color they are exactly, but I really, really love these jewels. I love that they come in these little packages that have a little zipper at the top. It makes them super convenient to get into and to put things away. So the way I like to do this is I like to put my glue on first and then go ahead and put all of my jewels on at the same time. I am also using the jewel picker tool that came from Pink Fresh Studio. I ordered that directly from their website before it was available in any stores and I love that tool. It works really really well. One side is a wax tip and the other side is a, a little metal tip that A you could use to emboss with, dry emboss with, or you can use it to kind of move your jewels around. And I think I do that here on camera at one point. I take the lid off the other side and I move one of the jewels around with um, the other side. This is a great tool. I would absolutely buy it again. It does come with an extra wax tip and that makes me happy because, you know, I'm afraid that it's going to get dull really fast. But it works really well and I've had it for about six months I think maybe not quite that long but I've had it for a little bit and it still works just great Uh, 
All right, once I got the jewels on, I decided that my little pinwheels were not popping enough. So I decided to take my journaling pen and do some pin stitching around each of the eight triangles just to make them pop a little bit more on the layout. You can also see that I added my journaling and I underlined it. I just added the date and that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do here. The next thing that I do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more sprinkles on here, or splatters on here with a couple of more inks. I add a few more white splatters and I add a few more splatters in hickory smoke. Right, I got this layout completely finished. Went together pretty quickly, I think, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I, of course, said at the beginning that I had hunted for a piece of pattern paper with this design on it, and I have some. I just wasn't willing to cut into it yet. Um, I popped up the butterflies on foam adhesive. I did some pen stitching around my triangles just to make them stand out a little bit more. I added the jewels from Pink Fresh Studios, which I also got from Scrapbook Generation, by the way. And that's pretty much it. Wrote my journaling on there as well. And I added a couple colors of splatters, white and hickory smoke. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I would absolutely love to have you subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I did on this layout, drop them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure that you check that description box below because there is a link for not only Cassandra's YouTube and her Instagram, but also a link for the playlist for this series of sketches. You will be amazed at all the beautiful creations that are people that people are coming up with with each sketch. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. I'll make my life back home.